Frank and I uh, were born in Yugoslavia, now Slovenia. We uh, immigrated uh, to the United States in uh, 1962, ended up going with our parents, of course, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As we grew up, I watched my parents come to America literally with, you know, two suitcases, two kids, a hundred bucks. I'm Stan Gorenz. I retired as a Major General in the United States Air Force after serving 32 years, and I retired out of the Pentagon in 2007. I'm Frank Gorenz. I retired as a General in 2016 after 37 years of service. My last assignment was as the Commander of U.S. Air Forces in Europe, U.S. Air Forces in Africa, and I was the Commander of NATO Allied Air Command. We grew up in a mostly immigrant community. They were all very cognizant of their culture, but if you asked them what nationality they were, they would say, <laughs> I'm an American. Always, it was very Always. interesting. <laughs> there was also this feel of, what are you offering America as this community? That was kind of a dynamic that I think we both identified with, and we were really cognizant of the fact that this is America, we're going for the American dream, we're working hard, let's prosper. I initially got interested in the Air Force Academy strictly off of the discussion that a student teacher had with us as a class. She had mentioned that she was going to marry an Air Force Academy cadet that summer and that we ought to consider going to the Air Force Academy as an opportunity if we had not decided on colleges. Colorado, college education, able to get into the military, potentially go and fly. It seems like a pretty good opportunity. He went to the academy. I was, you know, 12 years old at the time. I saw the campus, I'm walking around and I'm kind of going, wow, this is where I want to be. I said, Frank, it's going to be tough, but I think if you stay determined on what you want, you'll do okay. Because the academy is not designed to have people come in and fail. The intent is to give you an opportunity and make you successful. We were, lower middle class immigrant children from the south side, you know, and to get a letter of acceptance, you yeah. know, to one of the premier institutions in America. I mean, that's a big, big, big day. I guarantee you there are people who grew up with us that looked at both of us and go, how did that happen? Neither Stan nor I were what you consider to be a top student. We're just the average guys who Basically, we're there working our uh, tail off to make it all happen in an organization that valued perseverance and determination. I can't tell you what a pleasure it was to be surrounded by a bunch of people who are focused on the mission, who have the same values that I do, who have a strong immigrant work ethic, who will do everything they can to make the mission succeed you know, I came in for the airplanes, I stayed for the people. There does come a point where you realize that what we're doing here is much larger than yourself. You know, we're an Air Force that can deliver a weapon within three meters of any target, anywhere on the planet. How does that happen? I know how it happens. Uncompromising standards, training, education, development opportunities, hard work and performance, and boom, you're off to the races. Never give up. That's right. The American dream is alive and well.